Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will show you how you can work with all the Elementor Pro elements. In this video we will take a look at the Facebook page element. If you want to get Elementor Pro then click on the link below in the description. And if you buy Elementor Pro through my affiliate link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission, so thank you for that. If you want to see the result of all the Elementor Pro elements, then go to elementor2018.com and go to the page Elementor Pro. Here I will show you all the elements. So let's get started. I scroll all the way down. I click here on the plus and I scroll to the Facebook page element. Here it is. And actually it's really simple. I put my name over here, Ferdy Korpershoek and it shows my page and it shows my timeline. So with a few latest posts. If I remove this, it will only show the header. It can be a small header or a normal one. I can remove the cover. I can remove those photos over here. And I can remove the call to action button if there is one. I will bring this back. I will also bring back the timeline. You can also have events. I don't have them. But if you have them, you can put them on. You can also say events and timeline. And the latest one is messages. I only want to have timeline and you can increase the height or decrease it. So I think 500 is okay. I will take a look and here it is. And although I have the complete width of the website, it only shows around 500 pixels. So I can even say I want to have a new column and another one. I save it and then I refresh and then the width will adjust to one third because it's one of the three columns. So that's how easy it is to create a Facebook page in your website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe if you want to have more videos and then I will see you next time. I wish you the best. Bye bye.